Hi everyone, my name is Janixa. I will be giving you a tutorial on how to use uh, IMG Box. From here, you'll go to imgbox.com and it will bring you to the site. Before we get started, I need to make a disclaiming note. The reason why we are moving to IMG Box is that Amateur has made a disclaimer stating that um, that its site is not to be used for uh, as a hosting site, which means people post media or upload it, I should say, and post it for use to be seen on another website. That is against its TOS and anyone found to be violating that TOS will have their account banned and any, any images on that uh, account are to, will be deleted. There is no escape from that. Um, so if you have any images you want to save or keep for future use, you will need to save them and put them on uh, IMG Box or another uh, media hosting website. So first we're going to go select files. We are going to um, upload an image. Um, how I was doing it is um, 350 by 350 pixel square. This is for the thumbnail. Um, post it in a gallery. You will not probably not have the gallery made already, so don't worry about that. I'm going to upload it. It's going to take a moment or two to upload. Depending how fa fast it's going to run the data. Um, from there, you are going to see an image in a black box and three links. I'm not going to explain this because I don't know how to use this. I am not familiar enough with coding to explain this one. Links only is if like group requires like if you post an edit and they want to see a link, just the link of the image and that's what you would use. Whereas if you want to show the ING coding, you would use the BBC code. Now the difference between the BBC code and everything, and I'll show you um, in a moment. This is the thumbnail link, and then there's the full size link, which I'm going to grab in a moment and then post it. Preview. Okay. Come on, I am view. Be nice. Okay, so this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this is the thumbnail linkage, and you're going to see it's going to be this ugly little black, little black box. Most of you guys hate it. I do too. But Katsumi Duke. Um, pointed out something, and I thank you for that because I didn't know this. Um, you are going to um, first off, I would just click on this link, and it would just show show me to a new tab, and I could just view this image fully. You can do this, or you can do this, which would, which I know the stupid tab bar is blocking my beautiful, wonderful screeny. But anyway, um, basically, this is the full size link. If you use this one, you will have to resize it. Um, I will not accept anything below a thousand by a thousand. You can pick any size you want other than that, but I will also not accept um, any size that en um, encompasses over the border here. It cannot be larger than this border uh, for the th uh, thread box. Um, with that being said, however, while these two are, you can choose however you want to do it, you will have to use the full size link for edits and you have to pre um, size them before uploading them um, you will need to resize your images to 700 by 700 and then you'll use the full size imaging and you'll put it down below here in thread box and pit preview and it will show your edit it won't show this nasty little box right here now with that being said people are asking me why not tiny pit why not photo bucket well simple being is that photo bucket is a pain in the ass for me to save images off of and is a hassle for me to get everyone's images to po post into a uh, photoshop for me to edit and then put into a soapbox and then send it off to Pandora put it into the um, for, for, for the layout basically um, for tiny pick um, it is a risk it is a hazard and it's a hazard I'm not willing to take um, Basically, I used to use Tiny Pick a lot before I converted over to Imager. The problem with it being is that I had the reason I had to convert is because I had images coming up as real life naked models from the Erotica magazine, and excuse me, and they would um, while while originally if you go to the original link, it would show my screenies or my edits. If you go to the forum thread base, it would show a naked woman from the Erotica magazine. Oh, and I would see this happen to other moms, where it'd be another naked woman, or it'd be a woman holding a perfume bottle, or a perfume bottle itself. 
problem with that being is that is that with the naked woman that is against I and views TOS we cannot have naked women on the threads and on or on, on the cover of a group we cannot have that that is against I and views TOS and if someone reported because they were being douche canoe or whatever reason because they are sick of for rules or the, they're even administration that can get us in trouble that can get a user banned from using I and view ever again they have to restart and make a new account which is not fun because most of you models have worked hard and er, to earn the stuff that you have now. Secondly, it can get a group disbanded. We do not need top models of versatility or any other group being disbanded for something silly as a, not wanting to use a, a new website because you like tiny pick. Tiny pick is a risk, and it is a risk that I my, on myself I do not use. I do not want to have Pandora have that risk, and I, I need you as a model. I do not want you to have that risk. That is a risk that I do not want anyone to take, and that is why I do not allow tiny pick. So, with that being said, you are welcome to use uh, the thumbnail size or the full size. This key reminder: you have to for screens, you have to resize this. But for edits, you have to use the full size and use 700 by 700. That is my rule and stipulation on this. Um, other than that, you are good to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, you are welcome to me message me. Again, my name is Janixa, J-E-N-I-X-A. Um, I am available at any time, and I will uh, answer any and all questions. Um, hope you have a wonderful day.